All right, today we're going to go ahead and do a, um, uh, a knee joint aspiration. This gentleman has a history of gout, and uh, but not real severe gout, but has had this uh, leg swelling going on for how long, sir? Uh, it's been like four or five days now. Four or five days. And uh, you don't know there's any trauma, no specific injury, but compare the two knees there. This one is like massively swollen here. But you didn't trip, you didn't fall, you didn't injure it or anything like that. You're not uh, running any fevers. Uh -uh. You don't have any uh, chills or anything like no. that. All right, so uh, we're going to do a real thorough scrubbing here with some betadine scrub. And uh, we're going to do a medial approach on this knee joint here. And uh, it's, it's major swelling. And one of the things that you always consider is that you have too short a needle, so I've elected to use a spinal needle to do the to do the tap here, and uh, so we will get this all scrubbed up and cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and drape the knee here, and um, let's see, let's let's do it this way here, and. So we're gonna do the medial approach. Uh, I'm going to start out with a little numbing medicine here and uh, see if we can get that numbed up. Alright, so, so this is a real boggy knee, but I think my space is going to be like right about here. Feel it? Let's see. There it is, right there. That's going to be my target zone here. So, you're going to feel a little pinch, sir. I'm going to just, I'm going to fan it out here because I want you to be really numb. I want you to be numb as much as I can. Since I'm moving fast, I don't always aspirate. Give myself a big field here. Is that hurting you too bad? I feel something going. Okay. All right. All right. So um, we're going to use a spinal needle uh, because of the degree of swelling there. So hopefully this will reach in there. Won't have any false negatives. All right. Let's go. So we'll this up. All right. So we're going to bend the knee just a little bit there. Gonna take our needle and go right in here. Okay, feel it going in. That needed the entire spinal needle, six inches. I just popped through now. That fluid is a little cloudy. You can bring that camera down closer to the fluid. If you want to adjust the light overhead, you can do that too. That was impressive. That took that entire needle that's buried and I'm pushing. That's why I used the bigger needle. Taking fluid off sometimes helps the pain. So... And I'm rapidly coming up to about 60 cc's here. Mm. Well, uh, show where we're at, show the syringe. We're about 50 cc's there.
That is a lot of fluid. I'm at 60 ml. I'm going to stop right there. So I'm going to pull back. And I'm going to hold this up for the camera lady. Wow. Look at all that fluid we got off you. Oh, 60 man. ml right there. And there's more in there. But this is enough to do my diagnostic testing. It's, you were a good probably, patient. That's where all that pain was probably coming from. Man. Probably. What we're going to do is we're actually going to demonstrate the string sign here, and, and Jackie's going to um, uh, pull the syringe out here, and uh, all right, let's just see how long this thing strings as we squirt it out. Oh, there's hardly any string whatsoever on that, so uh, good enough. Thank you.